Today we are on the island of Saint Martin. It is a very unique island in the Caribbean because it is half owned by the French and half by the Dutch and we're on the Dutch side. Which is home to the most popular tourist attraction on the entire island and one that we have personally been looking forward to coming to for so long. Some of you may know it by its nickname. Airplane Beach! Beach! Oh my goodness, that was crazy. That was so close. to coming here for so long I've really been nerding out this morning I've been checking all of the different flight tracking websites to see which plane is arriving when making little notes to make sure we don't miss the big planes that we really want to see it seems like the majority of those are showing up between 1 and 3 and it's lunchtime now so we're heading to the beach It got it got here early. This this isn't the beach. So that was the A330 from KLM. That's one of two of the biggest planes that are arriving today. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. At least we saw it from here. Okay, we're almost there. It's about to get good. <laughs> wow. That was crazy. <laughs> that, was nice. that was just a small one. I wish you could feel my heart right now. I was so scared. I thought my head was gonna get knocked off. <sighs> so we've just arrived to the beach. As you can see, it's a pretty popular place, but I just want to set the scene for what's gonna be happening today. So over here to my left, we have the very end of the runway, and then all the planes are just gonna be coming in from right over the ocean. Just right over the top of our head. And the first big plane that should be arriving here any minute is the Delta 757 from Atlanta. The first big plane is about to land and Nate has dared me to try to stand up the whole time. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm gonna try. We're right in the middle of the runway. Oh, I shouldn't have turned around. I'm so scared. I think I can do it. Wow, that is so big. Oh my gosh. to see so close up like we fly on an airplane every single week and you would think that it just would be normal but <laughs> I'm just fascinated with these machines the beach has already gotten so much more crowded since we arrived they're coming in by the bus load but I, I just don't feel like you can truly get a perspective of just how close the planes are coming I'm gonna try to move and show a side angle and maybe that'll do it a little more justice
experiences that you have on this beach. You have the planes landing over your head, and then the second experience that you have is the jet blast coming from the planes. The biggest plane of the day that just landed, the KLM A330 is about to take off. Everybody's lined up behind it to feel the power of the engines. We've both taken our sunglasses off because I've literally seen people's sunglasses get ripped off their face and broken in half. The wind that we're experiencing right now is just the engine idling. I've seen videos, but I think this is one of the things that you just can't be prepared for. I'm not prepared. It's going. started. That was hilarious. Oh, that really hurt. My legs are burning from that sand. All of it's still going. Wow. That I'm, was insane. I'm trying to think of something to compare that feeling to. A hurricane? Oh, wow. Wow. That was way cooler than watching <laughs> them come in. Now that I've experienced it myself, I'm really having a hard time believing that this beach is even allowed to exist. We're out here having fun, but at the same time, it can actually be really dangerous. In 2017, there was a lady who died because you used to be able to go up and hang on this fence and everybody get as close to the jet blast as they could. She actually got blown into the road and then later died in a hospital. So for that reason, you're not allowed to hang on the fence anymore. It basically just made the whole crowd move back like 20 feet onto the beach. Okay, so there's this little beach bar at the end of the airplane beach and it's really unique because the pizza is all like plain themed. So we're trying to decide between the layover pizza or the airplane. So fun, so cheesy. Literally. <laughs> pizza, pesto, pine nuts, and garlic. This is a whole separate experience that's almost just as fun. We can still see the planes and watching the people on the beach get blown over when one takes off is hilarious. More fun than being on the beach, I think. It's delicious. To be able to go all the way up to this fence and hold on as the what is it? What is it called? Jet uh, blast. Jet blast. All the sand was stuck to my chapstick right after. 